the elephant money implosion a video that's actually urgent that was the title of a video with a slight twist roughly one year ago the strong block implosion look at the price in this chart at the time of the video $1,206 it was the very first video about strong block on the channel the video nailed the top of strong block by the day now we are at three dollars per token and so here we are again my first video on elephant money was just two or three days ago and this is what we see how much of this is coincidence how much of this is causal nobody knows right this is still a pretty small channel but there is a problem with this momentum shift here in the community in the internal chats people are saying that this is simply just profit taking it's a regular drop like any other and we will recover from this people will buy the dip but why is this current crash so persistent first this magnitude has never been there right we've never dropped that much this is true both on a linear scale so when we simply just look at the dollars that are being destroyed but it's also true on a logarithmic scale so when we look at how much in percent has been lost in what period of time there was only one crash that was bigger and that was the flash loan attack right the external hack now why aren't people simply buying this dip if you've watched my prior video you know that the answer is return expectation in ponzi schemes people expect a certain return there's some financial engineering that reduces the volatility for example and that gives a very constant price increase or a very constant return whatever it is you've got a very high expectation of return that did get fulfilled in the past now when you're engineering low volatility like this and pretty much every day the price is increasing and then suddenly it doesn't and the people that still might consider buying in they wait they wait until the price stabilizes because there is no real advantage in buying in now until things calm down the people that get scared from this crash they simply just exit they simply just go away and so we've got a situation where there's panic selling but we don't have a lot of people that are panic buying because you can simply just wait it out right the recovery will be very clear on the chart because the volatility is so low we don't just go zigzag up and you can barely say when we're actually recovering if we see a recovery at some point it would be very clear to see in the chart and since with elephant money the recovery is much much slower than the crash right the line goes up much slower than it goes down you can simply just wait that's what everybody's now thinking right you can wait for two or three days until it doesn't crash anymore and until it does recover a little bit but when everybody is waiting when everybody's on the sidelines it simply continues to crash because the panic sellers they don't wait people that got into elephant money in the last month are now at losses because you have a 10 percent buy tax and a 10 percent sales tax so even though the price net in the last month might have gone up by 20 percent you don't make that gain because of those taxes if you're among those people this might even be the majority right because these systems they grow exponentially you're one of those people that is now barely break even and that sees a chart like this will you hold on will you double down what will the majority of people really do when i had my call with the elephant money team i learned that one out of six people approximately invests in the long-term project as in they buy the nfts or the buy the futures product they buy the long-term returns the other five out of six they simply just buy the token potentially for a quick flip if you are currently in elephant money or if you're considering to at some point buy this dip at least watch this three hour video because it has a lot of interesting nuggets around tokenomics around data when i look at this chart i see what pretty much everybody else is seeing i see a falling knife that i do not want to catch but i'm very open to listen to the arguments why you should not wait why you can't simply just wait for stabilization and buy then but why you should buy during this sharp decline let me know please tell me why the risk to reward now should be better 
than when we have waited one or two days after a potential stabilization. Who knows when this will stabilize, if this will stabilize. Let me know your arguments down in the comments or in our Telegram. There's also a lot of Elephant Money team members in there. Simply click the link down below.